hi, hello, and all that good stuff. My name is Allie, and this is where I talk about book things. So this is my book channel, where I talk about book things, which I figure you have gathered at this point. I'd love it if you subscribed so you could see more from me. You can follow me on Twitter, Goodreads, Instagram, all those links are down below. And I also have a gaming channel and a Twitch, if that's your fancy, that you can follow as well. So, yeah. But today, I'm here to give you sort of an April TBR. I call it sort of an April TBR because I will be having a baby any day now. Any day. Like, could be, could be right now I could go into labor, right this very second. Or it could still be a week or two from now, I don't know. So I won't be holding myself to any kind of TBR. I just have a stack of books I would like to read. And I'll get to what I get to. But at this point, I, you know, I still have the time before I give birth to read some things. And then I will definitely still be reading because for me, that will be something that will help me hold on to my last shred of sanity while taking care of a newborn and a year and a half year old. Is just taking any small moment I can to just breathe and read a book. So self-care will be the main point of reading this month. Uh, but let, let's just go ahead and talk about the books that I might want to read and that I may or may not get to. First, I actually just started Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert and I'm really excited to read it. I'm buddy reading it with uh, Molly and Hannah. It's gonna be a good time. I'm so excited. Read about four chapters of it today and uh, it's a good time. I read Desperate Measures last month or well, it, last month, beginning of this month, it'll be It'll be in my March wrap up if you want to hear about my thoughts on some Disney smut. That'll be there. And this month I'm reading Learn My Lesson, which is Hades and Hercules and Meg Disney smut. It's going to be a good time. Desperate Measures was actually a very good time. And I'm ready for more. So these are in no particular order. I just put them in a stack of books that I think I might want to read. I might read other things if other things catch my fancy at any point during the month. Uh, so who knows, but I'm gonna talk about these anyway. Firstly, there is Girl A by Abigail Dean, which I got in last month's Book of the Month box, and I am just interested in it. I've heard, I think it's, it's thriller, but it's more of like the mundane kind of thriller, and I'm just kind of feeling those vibes lately. So I wanted to maybe pick this up soon. Hannah likes this and a lot of people don't like this, but I am looking to kind of find out more of what I like in thrillery type books. And I also tend to trust Hannah's judgment on books. She tends to have similar tastes to me in at least some things. So I don't know, I'm, I'm just interested and I kind of want to get to this this month maybe. Then I have two books I actually do have to read, and that is Skullduggery Pleasant Playing with Fire and Skullduggery Pleasant the Faceless Ones, book two and book three. Book two uh, was supposed to be a March read, but the live show isn't until this weekend, and so I put it off until this week, and now I have four days to finish this, but that's fine. I'm on page 70 something, and it's a really fast paced, really quick middle grade. So I'm not concerned. I will 100% have this done before the live show, which I will be on as long as I have not yet or am not in the middle of giving birth. But if you're at all interested in the Skullduggery Pleasant read along, I will link the information down below. They're really quick reads, so you could definitely catch up before we read the third one in April, you could read all three in April and it would probably not take you much time at all. They're just, they're, they're a good time. So I will be 100% reading these two in April. This book I will probably get to because it is just so short and that is Pet by Akwaiki Mezzi, which was gifted to me by the amazing Molly. I will link their channel down below, of course, and I'm excited to get to this. I love getting to gifted books because they just feel so special, and I get really excited to read books that were gifted. <laughs> this I, again, don't know a ton about, but I've heard good things, and I've been wanting to read some Akwaiki Amezi 
So this seems like a good place to start because it's so short and if I like the writing in this I definitely want to pick up their other works which I think the most recent is The Death of Vivek OG. I think came out recently so maybe I'll pick up that one if I like this one. This is a middle grade about monsters but I think it's more of a conversation on certain issues than it is about monsters. I don't know if the monsters in this are real or if they're a metaphor. I guess I will find out. Then I have Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, which me and Molly may be buddy reading in April at some point. And I'm excited because I just wanna read all of Anna Marie McLemore's books, all of them. I'm finding that I really like magical realism style books and Anna Marie McLemore's writing is just phenomenal. Another book that I am hoping to get to, but who knows, Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch, which I got a while ago and I just really, really want to get to it. The cover is so cute and this was in my most recent book haul, so I got it this year. It has Kiki's Delivery Service vibes and I've been more into wanting to pick up more middle grades this year and this one, I'm so excited for this. It looks so cute and so fun and if it does give any sort of Kiki Delivery Service witchy middle grade vibes, I'm going to love it. I I expect to love this so much and I'm going to be so disappointed if it's not so so good. So I hope to get to this this month. The next one I have is Buddy Read and that is Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. This is a buddy read with Hannah at Ladet M. I'll link her channel down below. And I'm really excited to get to this. It was on my five star predictions, which I did five five star predictions back in February, maybe January. I don't know. I did a video. I'll link it somewhere. And this is on there. So I think this is going to be five stars because it sounds weird. It sounds dark at points. It just. And I like Shauna McGuire's writing. I've only read some of the Wayward Children's books and I don't love them but I love the writing and I am just really excited about this this one I know a little bit about which is better than the nothing I know about most of the other books that I want to read this one is about Roger and Dodger who are twins who were created to be different sides of this doctrine and then they're raised apart but they can like communicate with each other and then I'm assuming some shit goes down and then things will happen and something about I think gathering the power of God if they're the two sides of this doctrine are put together so I'm definitely excited to get to this and for it to be a buddy read because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of things to discuss with this whole story and everything that's going on in here so I think this will be a really fun buddy read and I'm excited to get to it all right, I just have one more book I want to talk about even though I didn't really tell you anything about any of these it's fine I just wanted to get some sort of TBR type thing up so you have an idea of what you might expect me to read this month and so I could film because I really wanted to film so I'm sorry if this video isn't quite what you were expecting it's it's a sort of TBR not the same thing as an actual TBR. The last book anyway is Plain of Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth, which wasn't necessarily something I was planning to read this month because ugh, it's chunky, but I just, I couldn't not pick it up. I kept looking at it after I got it and I just kept, kept looking at it. And now I've started it and I'm only, I'm only like 35 pages in and it's uh, like a 630 page book but I just really want to read this. I could not tell you what this is really about. I've read a little bit and I've read the synopsis and I don't really know. It's about the past and the present of the school that's had a bunch of tragedies at it and now there is a movie being made there about these sorts of things and so then it's about the actresses who are going to be in this movie and I'm assuming things will happen. It's, vi it's very chunky. I am a little bit concerned about for what it seems like the type of book it is that it is so chunky but I don't mind slow kind of meandering books depending on how they're written what they're about just depending I don't mind that so this could be really good or this could just be really long <laughs> we will find out 
I also just really love the cover. I am deathly terrified of wasps and uh, wasps are pretty prominent in this book so I don't know why I thought that was a good idea but I really like the cover with the yellow and the pink and the wasp on it. Wasps look cool. Don't get me wrong, they, they, they're cool creatures. I just have a strong irrational fear of them and if they are in my life and I see one flying around in my house, I panic. I cannot kill it because I am too busy freaking out and I will lock myself in a different section of the house until somebody else kills it because I can't be anywhere around it at all. That's probably more than you needed to know about me and my fear of wasps. but. There you go. This is the last book I had to talk about. I don't really have anything more for you because again, I'm going to give birth to a child any day now. I don't know what my content is going to look like for the month of April. I'm going to really be focusing on obviously myself, my newborn baby, my family. There still will be some content. I want to do vlogs just because I think it'll be exciting to kind of document my journey with my second newborn and bringing them into my home and obviously I'll still be reading some things for self-care of myself and I don't know it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting month but I'm excited nervous stressed a whole bunch of things and we'll just see how it goes but you will at least get a little bit of content from me even if it's not much and then hopefully uh, when May rolls around I'll get a little bit back into things but I mean I'm not gonna push myself to be on top of everything while bringing another child into my home and all that because obviously my family comes first and I want to keep making content I love making content and I will make content but my family is going to come first obviously so you know that's that's really all I have right now uh, thank you for watching this little video about my maybe April plans where I basically told you nothing and just held up some books like this is a thing. It's fine. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of whatever this energy is. Uh, like, comment what you're going to be reading in April if you've read any of these books and you liked them. Make sure to check out all of my other links down below and uh, I will see you next time.